All right, look, I've been gone a long time, man. It's been like a two-week hiatus. I had a birthday going on. I was out of town. Look, guys, I apologize. I'm back. I am here. I got plenty of content to upload for you guys. So let's get it started with this. Without further ado, this is a long overdue review. I did a reaction for it, but now I can finally get my whole thoughts out on it. This is my review for Scream 6. Hey guys, it's your guy in the chair here, and look, this is my review for Scream 6, starring Mel Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Mason Gooding, Jasmine Savoy Brown, and our film was directed by Tyler Gillett and Matt Olpin, no, it was Matt Bedinelli Olpin, it was a very fascinating names, but that's who our film was directed by, and our story follows our four main characters, or our core four, as they so like to be called now, and basically they are in a brand new environment, they are in New York City trying to forget the things that happened previously in Woodsboro, uh, dealing with Ghostface and things like that, but unfortunately, that is not how that works in this franchise. Ghostface is back. He is terror as terrorizing as ever in a brand new city, got brand new motion and brand new rules to his game, and now we have to figure out who this Ghostface is and how we can put a stop to him. That's as simple as the plot is, guys. You know Scream. You know the formula. You know how it works. So now let's get into what I liked about the film and what I didn't like, but we're going to start with what I liked about the film. Okay, so the first two things I liked about this film, obviously, was the use of the setting, it being placed, taking place in New York, and then the direction of the film, essentially, where this story is headed uh, now for future fr setting up future franchises' movies. Um, starting with the setting itself, I love New York. Look, I, am a, I've been, I have family in New York, I've been to New York, and honestly, the reason I was so ecstatic or, like, so pumped at the fact that Scream was moving into an environment like this is because if you've ever been to New York, you understand how broad of a city, how grand and how massive that place is. There's so many people, it's so loud, there's so many lights, it's so much stuff going on. It's very easy to get distracted and honestly, the, the way that New Yorkers kind of, you know, know who the terrorists are, I'm not, not the terrorists, I'm sorry, the tourists are, they, <laughs> how they know who the tourists are in their city, they, um, like, let's say, for example, you're on the subway system and Ghostface, for whatever reason, is stabbing you multiple times. The way New Yorkers can tell who the tourists are is like if you're basically paying attention to that and if you are watching that asking for help blah 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 the real new yorkers would just sit there on the train keep their headphones in not say a word wait till their next stop get off and say yo somebody was just getting stabbed on there y'all should check that out that is literally how new york works so the fact that this is based in new york and they really played off a lot of those realisms that happened in that city i love that for this franchise because it made it for a lot more entertaining film like i said for the direction of the film basically they're just setting they're just showing us that these are the four characters we are going to now follow in this franchise they are taking over for the legacy characters these are our new main characters and we are going to you know basically be with them for the remainder of the franchise or however many films they make and i really just appreciate them establishing you know these characters again in the sense of like okay these are now our main characters because the last movie we weren't necessarily it's, it's kind of like the scream 4 feel like we didn't necessarily know if these characters were going to be sticking around like how long we're going to be with these characters so this scream 6 definitely does a great job in establishing that these are our main characters and the traits and you know just making us kind of resonate with them in a sense i mean I, I don't know if all of them are the most relatable characters in the world but they are very fun characters to have in the film and like i said it, it's just setting up a great direction for where this i think this franchise is headed especially dealing with the fact that melissa barrera is Stu's daughter so that's definitely going to go somewhere and i think they're building upon that Another thing I really liked about this movie, obviously, guys, is the violence and Ghostface. I mean, the violence is clearly kicked up a notch in this film because the violence is definitely pretty, pretty bigger on a. Uh, I'd say it's on a pretty bigger scale than the last film, only because there's just a lot more weapons to be used. I mean, dude, that convenience store scene is out of is ridiculous. I mean, like it, like. It gave me chills in the trailer, but the, watching that play out on screen in the actual film itself, I mean, the convenience store scene is just beautiful. It's absolute chaos. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, man. I absolutely loved it. It's crazy because... Even when I'm watching the film itself, I completely forgot that Ghostface just runs in there. I'm thinking once they get into the convenience store and there's so many people around, Ghostface isn't going to want to, you know, 
make it draw attention to himself but like i said it's the city of new york it's too big to really focus on just one pivotal area in the city like you can't do that so that's why i love the fact that new york is the setting of this place man ghostface is incredible in the film man i mean ghostface never disappoints i have not had a disappointing ghostface performance haven't had a disappointing scream movie as far as like the violence goes they always do a good job in keeping that fresh keeping it entertaining keeping the kills uh indulging in a sense i mean it's 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 a lot of fun they make it a lot of fun the other thing that i absolutely loved about this movie like i, I kind of addressed them in the previous uh statement talking about the settings and where the story is setting up the core four characters themselves melissa barrera jenna ortega mason gooding jasmine savoy brown they are all incredible in the film i really enjoy this set of characters i really enjoy their dynamic together they just really work mason gooding especially mason gooding was a very big standout in this film i thought last from scream five like when the film ended he was probably like in my top six characters of that movie like he really wasn't one of my favorites but in this one he definitely established himself as one of my favorites and i'm looking forward to seeing him in the future installments as well as all these other characters as far as the other characters in the film they all do a very good job look it's scream so you already know the formula that we're following here you know what most of these characters are playing what role most of these characters are playing at this point especially kirby and uh gail weathers at this at uh, Courtney Cox, Gail Weathers, blah, blah, blah. At this point, you know what role those two characters are playing in. And so, I mean, they're not really necessarily adding anything new to the film, but they're keeping it nostalgic and they're keeping the same scream, mystery, intense thrill ride that we all want. And we get that in this film. And now I'm going to move on to what I didn't like about the film. Okay, so as for what I didn't like about the film, look, in comparison to Scream 5, what Scream 5 basically did was it came out after a very long time since... Uh, it came, it released itself after a very long time of, of us seeing a Scream movie since, what, like 2011? I think that's when Scream 4 came out. So it's been a very long time since a Scream movie came out. We were questioning whether this franchise even still had it, like if, if it still had what it takes to be a scary good scream franchised movie and scream 5 easily proved that now what this movie does is it's kind of giving like i said it's scream so we know what we're getting at this point from these movies and they're doing it they, that's why i said the environment plays a very pivotal part in this film because they had to spice it up some sort of way but while scream 6 is following the same cliches and the same niches as all the other scream films do this one does set up its own story and proves that not only can this still be a successful franchise or these can still be successful movies, but we can make this a, success, a successful continuation story and, you know, build upon these characters that we have now. But for that reason, I'm not necessarily going to say it was better than Scream 5. Like, I, I enjoyed Scream 5 a lot more than I did this one. Only because, like I said, that, that Scream 5 just proved that, you know, they still have it. They can still make movies like these. And plus, it was like a very long time since we had a Scream movie. So this was kind of like a, a, a walk back into Woodsboro. Like, like just being all introduced back into it after a very long time. Like, we took a long time away from Woodsboro. Like... In this movie with Scream 6, we were literally just there. So we already, like, we're literally just coming off of this. And we already know most of where this thing can head. It's really just a matter of, like, where this whole stew dynamic with Melissa Barrera's character, like, with her being his daughter, like, where that's all going to go. That's really where, you know, this movie's kind of pushing it in that direction. But once they execute on that idea, I think that'll make for either a better scream movie or maybe worse i don't know but i know they're expanding on some sort of idea here with her being Stu's daughter i can't wait to see that play out into full fruition but as of now i'm definitely going to say overall look scream 5 was definitely better than scream 6 but scream 6 still has all the fun all the jump scares all the ghost face action that you want from a scream movie i adored it and for all those reasons and so many more guys i'm going to give scream 6 a 3.25 out of five stars. All right, guys, so Scream 6, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Please be sure to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff and so much more, guys. I really appreciate it. Be sure. I already said to like, share, share, subscribe, and all that and so much more. Look, guys, forgive me. Look, I'm back. I'm. It's going to take me a minute to get back into my groove, but that, guys, be patient with me. I got so much more content coming to you soon. Thank you so much. This is your guy in the chair. And I already said more content coming to you soon. I'm just stumbling all over my words. We're just going to end the video here. Thank you, guys.